So recently I have started going down a rabbit hole and I just want to show what I have so far of this rabbit hole. But before we get started, my name is the Honorable Lady Lynn Fairchild and welcome to my channel. So one of the rabbit holes I've recently been going down is the question of linen. And I'm specifically asking myself about the linen because I do embroidery specifically. I do black work embroidery and the differences in black work embroidery I can get into in another video, so keep an eye out for that. But to do embroidery, you have to have a background to embroider on. And from a historical perspective from the 16th century, it was typically silk thread on linen. However, if you start to dive into linen, you might come across plants such as ramy, flax, hemp, but then when you look at museum websites, it might just say silk thread on linen and does not specify anything like the weight of the linen. Is it a heavy weight? Is it a light weight? Is it like, hanker like a handkerchief material? Is it very thin or is it very thick? Is it rough? And granted, there are only so many things that museums can do because they may not be able to test to figure out what plant made the linen that the embroidery is on. So that's where I have zoomed in and I've taken very up close pictures of different museum pieces to look at the linen to see if I could find something because another one of my questions that I have is, okay, if I can figure out what type of linen was historically accurate, then my question becomes, what store possibly sells a historically accurate linen? Because with linen, there are different weights and even just within the same weights. For example, if I'm looking at 3.7 ounces per yard, one store might have a thinner linen than another. One might be more of an even weave. There are lots of things to compare and contrast. So that is why I have created this little display board to kind of show off where I am at in my rabbit hole. And on this board so far, as you can see, let me see if I can. So from here, I have printed a couple of examples from different museums that have embroidered pieces. These are either smocks or these are coifs from the 16th century, specifically um, from England. And then I have different types of linen that are of different weights all the way up to over here where it this is technically this is ramy it is very thin it is very fine it is very lovely but not something i would want to embroider on because one of the things you have to think about with embroidering is if you are embroidering on linen and specifically with me i do the black work that is counted stitch you want to be able to see the holes in order to do counted stitching so with the embroidery I do, depending on the pattern and how big or small I want it, I will count every third hole or every fifth hole, maybe every fourth hole, but typically I do every third or every fifth hole in the linen. And if it is so super fine, like this, let me see if I can zoom in here. This is so fine, you can hardly see where the actual holes are. And then the other thing you have to worry about is the type of needle you're using. If it is a sharp, pointy needle, it might actually snag this fabric and could mess up the fabric. Whereas something over here, this is a heavyweight linen. And if I use a sharp pointy needle on this one, worst case, all I'm going to do is somehow create a hole in between two holes on the linen. It's not going to mess up the fabric as much here as it is here. That being said, so far, most of the linen that I've embroidered on is from Fabric Store and I have used both the handkerchief and the heavyweight. The difference being that the, the heavyweight is 7.1 ounces and then the handkerchief is 3.7 ounces per yard. I've embroidered on both. I like both. The main thing for me is when I'm embroidering on linen, the question is, can I see the holes and is it easy for me to see the holes so I can embroider? But I have other examples here like I've got Burnley and Trowbridge, I've got William Booth Draper, let's see, I've got Gray Lines Linen, so again this is just a rabbit hole that I am currently going down 
And as I get more information, I will happily put it up on my website, on my blog, as well as the YouTube channel. So if you have any feedback, if you have any information on what linen you like to use, either just for making a smock, whatever, a coif, and just to wear, or if specifically if you're into embroidery, what linen you like to use to embroider on, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video and would like to watch more of my videos, please follow the links on the side of the page. Please select thumbs up that you like the video. It helps with the algorithm. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And please click subscribe and ring that bell to be updated when new videos come out.